Hey ho everyone, it's the Loki Monster here, and today we're running the Black Betty. Now all these items do drop from the boss, but we are specifically after the pirate letter of recommendation for the title. Now I am using Ranger class for the ability to trap and for the mob attacks. Now you want to zoom out as far as possible and angle to your camera so you can see the deck. Now, you might want to use a good boost. This one's from Fisher and Battleon. It's a fish cookie, and it has great attack, crit, and haste. Now, you also want to try to avoid attracting too many at once and getting overwhelmed. This gets a little more difficult as you go on. You also want to heal as soon as possible when you've lost about one-third of your health. Now, I just wanted to take a second to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank all my subscribers for helping me reach the goal of 500 subs. Now, I'm going to have a big giveaway, including a garden giveaway. So, watch for that. Now, you want to take advantage of the small breaks between the mobs to let your health regenerate if need be. So, right now, you could just... Stay back, wait till your health is full again, and then go back to fighting, but I'm okay, so I'm just going to go right back at it, and of course, don't forget to pick up your drops. Now, as things goes on, you'll get more and more mobs, so you want to gather them up and trap them, and then use your area attack to hit all of them at once. Again, I could take a little break here, I could have backed up, but I'm just going to gather up some more all together and then just slam them all at once. Easy peasy. Well, not really. It's a little tough. Like I said, you really don't want to pull so many at once, so I'm only going to pull two of these over at a time and eliminate them. Now at this point, after these two, things are going to get a little tricky, so I am going to back up in the corner because I want to be in this area because the first leak is about to spring right in front of me. So you're going to plug the leaks by attacking them. You have two minutes to get all of these leaks and you want to do them in this order and try to save your area attacks for where the dual leaks are like this. That way you can hit them both at once and do damage to them at the same time. Now, there are two of these areas, so unfortunately I've run out of area attacks. This is where the boost comes in handy because I have a good amount of haste, so I'm taking out these as quick and as fast as possible. But I did do this with a much lesser boost, and um, it was very, very tight for time, but I was successful. Now it is possible to do it with no boost, but you're going to have to make absolutely no mistakes whatsoever and do it efficiently. So once you get up here on this last one, you want to stay up top because the big one will spawn up here. Now I did actually figure out the most logical pattern to do these because you can see as the clock is quickly ticking down, there is very little time to waste. Now you can use a travel form right here if you want to to save you a little bit of time, but I was okay for time. I, and I actually have problems coming in and out of travel forms. They waste time on me. So these next guys are a little bit tougher. Now, a little small tip I have from trying this a few times is you want to stay clear of the sides of the ship. You can easily get caught up on all this rigging and cannons, and you can get yourself in real trouble especially in the next wave. And for that reason, you'll notice now that I only have one left, at the moment I'm saving my area attacks and only using my light attacks, so I have them for the next wave. And it can be a little hairy, especially when you make a mistake. I meant to back up closer to the stairs, and so I didn't draw both of the bosses. Just a small little mistake on my part, but no worries. <laughs> because if you're feeling like you're getting a little overwhelmed, you can actually go up to the top of the stairs of the deck and give yourself a little bit of time to recover. The big guys can't get up there. Believe it or not, you won't lose if the mob kills you though. Now it's time for the boss. How you lose is if you do not stop the leaks before the clock ticks down. And this, of course, does include the boss fight. So, 
As soon as you see a leak here, you want to attend to it as soon as possible. Now the boss will follow you, so you want to save your area attack till he's in range. Don't waste it on just the water leak. And also, you don't have to worry about the badge. Your area attacks will take them out. Now, as all bosses, they have standard maneuvers, so you want to stay back from when they're doing their frontal attack. Um, he does have a stun attack, which can get you, and uh, also, he can follow you up the stairs. So, if you need a little recovery time, you can just plug the leak and give yourself a little bit of a break. But be aware that the locations of the leak in the boss fight are random and can appear anywhere. So make sure you look around because if it says there's a leak, there is a leak. But I have heard from some people that the timer is not stopping for them, that there is a glitch. Well, I didn't have this glitch appear, but I did have it tell me there was a leak and I could not find the leak anywhere. So, I'm not sure what the bug is, but there is a bug in this dungeon. It may or may not happen. Once you have him down to about 2500 HP, if a leak suddenly appears at this point, don't worry about it. You can ignore him because you'll have him dead long before you need to plug the leak. And as you notice, I did not have a chest drop because this was my second run. So here's some footage from my first successful run with the dress dropping and the title. If you could master doing this solo, then the challenge will be a piece of cake for you. Once you open the chest, you'll receive the letter of recommendation. All you have to do is use it and you'll receive the title. And I want to wish you good luck, and I hope this video helps all you title hunters. So before you enter this dungeon, you're going to want to grab the Spooky Dookie quest. Now, I grabbed this at the very beginning of the game before I had even unlocked the Black Betty. You need to complete the quest line in order to unlock it. Now, you get one Spooky Dookie token for each time you do this repeatable quest that you can use in the Spooky Dookie Reward Shop. So this is the set you can get with the Spooky Dookie tokens, except there's a major problem. After I received my token, the Spooky Dookie quest disappeared. Now, I reset, it reappeared, but when I clicked on it, it just vanished. If you log in and out, it will keep reappearing but it will keep vanishing. So I'm actually going to recommend that you do not farm this dungeon until they have fixed the glitch if you want the gothic pirate set. Now, if you just want the Captain Fang set that drops from the dungeon, knock yourself out, or if you're after the title, go for it. Now, I just wanted to take a few seconds to tell you about my 500 sub celebration. Now to kick it off, starting on Saturday on the AEF server, I'm going to be launching a giveaway for 5k AP for someone who loves this game but can't afford Guardian. And we're gonna continue the celebration the following weekend with a set competition and some games with lots of prizes for everyone. I'll see you then. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.